Welcome to another Lumion 8 live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design, and in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the new outlines effect in Lumion 8. All right, so here we are in Lumion. Let's go ahead and get started by jumping into an example scene here. Um, let's jump into uh, this one here. I want to say Visha Monzi, Villa, Villa Monzi. I haven't jumped into this one for in a while. And for from now on, I'm going to try to use more example scenes for you guys when I when I cover some of these effects and some of these uh, tutorials I'm going over. That way you guys can follow along. But if I have a specific use case, that's when I'll use my own projects if I feel that's necessary. And I'm going to try to also use projects. If, I, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to try to use um, th scenes that I can share with you guys in the future because that's been a big request. So... As Lumion 8 continues to push further and further into photorealism, they haven't neglected their, uh, I call it NPR, non-photorealistic effects as well. And in that, in this case here, let's jump into photo mode here to add these effects, just, just in case you're new, to, completely new to this. Here in these effects stack, we have a whole category here for sketch. And this is the one we're going to talk about here, outlines. But we see we've had plenty of other ones from before. Some of these are pretty old. Um, one, some of the more recent ones, pastel was new, was a, co I mean, a couple years ago. And then oil painting and blueprint were newer as well. And some of these a date a while back. And some of these kind of have some overlap. I kind of see a little bit of cartoon and pastel in this one. But it has its own power and uniqueness here in, in outlines. So, we've applied this effect right here, outlines, and as you can see, we have three sliders here, so nothing too complicated, which, which I like. The, uh, for example, the pastel sketch has quite a few sliders here, which for me was a turn off at first, at least I had some examples here, or some default settings, but for in this case, let's get rid of that effect. And for outlines, we only have three. So this is going to be a very simple video. So first off, let's take a look at this. Here's our lines. So this kind of captures edges in a way that I don't think any other effects really does. So it kind of has that sort of style. And then here, we can slide with transparency. We uh, When it transparencies all the way up, it's basically kind of masking whatever filter that this effect is putting on and we're showing straight through to the rendered quality um, uh, image here and if we got rid of outlines this is basically exactly what it was before so let's turn outlines back on and let's play with this kit color variation what this is going to kind of do after I see transparency is up so you didn't see what that did so let's turn that again so color variations outline density up transparency all the way down uh, uh, all the way down so we're not seeing the actual image and this turns it almost all the way to white so this is a pretty cool effect you know there was a time when I, I, I used to use a program called it was called Pierre and Essie I used to use it with SketchUp it was really cool it's a little older now it's pretty much out of date but we would take effects like this and take it and basically like Photoshop and we would paint and add effects on there and this is a great starting point if I wanted to get into that and that's a I personally have not I, I've left that kind of path a while back and I, I, I would love to get back into it I've definitely jumped more into photorealism myself but there's a lot of potential there and with this transparency slider we can start to gradually bring in our our, uh, our image original image in the background here and as you can see this is like everything we would see before but with edges which is also I think a really cool effect maybe you can turn this down a bit just a little bit and I've seen if I've actually seen a couple use case scenarios where um, I think it was on interiors or in glass where people actually liked just getting a little bit of bump in the edge that the that Lumion just didn't seem to want to render the way they wanted to but uh, but now 
they were able to get capture edges that they needed to highlight in their renderings without really even trying to be stylized. It was something they were able to just kind of add is almost uh, just an extra detail level or sharpening effect to, to grab edges. So, I mean, there's a lot of flexibility, a lot of potential. I'm not going to go over. I mean, there's hundreds of, of combinations of these three sliders, but I think I've been able to kind of show off the idea here. In fact, I personally really like having a little bit of edges and kind of the rendered image in the background. Uh, there was another, there's another program I've used that had an effect similar to this that I've always kind of liked, and now Lumion has it too. So that's great. Flexibility is always better. And I wanted to talk about another kind of just stylized effects in general, why they're still pretty valid and important. And I think it's particularly important for our uh, clients I've worked with who, you know, actually are architects in early stages of design because there's definitely times when they have a model, but they haven't, they want to show it off to the client, but they haven't yet spent the time to develop parts. And so they, they don't want to show it. They don't want to show super realistic or specific tile here that I want to put in to make it look good. They kind of want to blur some things or they don't want the detail to come through, but they want the concept and the feel that they've already developed to show up in there. And that's when these, these effects come in handy. That way, you know, we can adjust it a little bit in here. So we're getting much more of a style, but without worrying too much about the detail here, we're not seeing too many materials specifically here because sometimes they don't want to be married to design early or don't want to show off to the client yeah, that they're already picked something that they're going to change just the week later. So that's that's been my experience. Uh, with these this is where that power comes in when you're in early stages and you just don't want to show everything off That's what's great about Lumion is they keep They keep adding more and more flexibility with these and outlines like I said is one of many of these and it's a great new addition so uh, With that I, I think we've covered uh, Covered a lot of the bases about the outlines effect. I hope it helped you guys out um, please like and subscribe to this channel if you like to more videos like this. There are definitely more coming out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. <laughs>